The third meeting of the sides in the league this season, the previous two resulting in 1-0 wins for the Blues. But it was Bohemians with the first real chance on 11 minutes. Keith Ward played a 1-2 before linking up again with Dinny Corcoran, but his effort was saved by the homekeeper, Matt Connor. Noel Hunt, making his return to Waterford after spells in Scotland and England, was at the end of a Paul Keegan long ball. But Shane Supple came off his line quickly to deny the former Republic of Ireland international. Derek Pender then clearing their lines. Bohemians were then denied what looked like a penalty when Dinny Corcoran appeared to go down under a challenge from the Blues defender Dave Webster in the area, but the referee waved away the claims. Webster walked away from the incident as if nothing had happened. Corcoran clearly thought he'd been tripped. As did his manager, Keith Long. As it was, Bohemians took the lead just after the half hour. In the initial build-up play, the ball was worked out to Bo's captain Derek Pender, who crossed for Keith Buckley, who then saw his header saved by Connor. But from the resultant corner, there was no denying Corcoran as he headed in to the net on 31 minutes, a corner from Kevin Devaney. And Bowes had scored their first league goal against Waterford this season. One nil to Bowes at half time. In the second half, Waterford's Rory Feely then gifted possession to Bohemians with a sloppy pass straight to Corcoran. The ball was worked out to Keith Ward, who had time to turn and shoot from distance. But sadly for him and Bohemians, the shot was straight at Connor. Bowes held on to their 1 0 lead till the 64th minute before the home side equalised, and a piece of bastion eerie magic saw to that. The play broke down on the edge of the Waterford area and Erie picked up the ball in his own half. It was now three against two as Erie advanced eventually into the Bohemians area and then scored, making it 1-1 as he drilled a low shot past both keeper Supple. A sublime finish. Tails now up because of the brilliance of Erie. Waterford went for the win. Rory Feeney got the ball back from his own throw before setting himself up. But his attempt at a curling shot wasn't good enough to beat Supple. Waterford kept pressing. Dave Webster's long ball was headed to Patrick Kavanagh, who then set it up for JJ Lunny. Lunny then rolled it into the path of Rory Feely. His shot was deflected, and Supple did well to save. From the resultant Paul Keegan corner kick, Supple tipped Kenny Brown's header over his own crossbar. There were no more goals and a decent game at the RSC on Friday night. Referee's whistle bringing an end to the contest where it finished 1-1, an important point for both sides at opposite ends of the table.